There it is right there. Pre-op model, yes. We always want to do this on, on the tooth that we're scanning and designing. Okay, click OK. Stone models and occlusion. And uh, that should complete our job definition. Okay. Now we want to go to Sarah Mill Map, which is this, the Map 600, because we're going to scan.
okay. Now, it's asking for the, the, the upper jaw. So we want to make sure everything's down all the way here. No spaces. You already know this. Okay. Put this in here. Mark that in place. If you want a visual to see, you can click on this part right here. Well, no, that's one and two. If you look right here, there's two different settings. There's a two line and a one line, but where you can visually zoom in. And this is for every scan. You want this line right about here. Okay, that's good. So we'll hit start. In the center of the two, take the square, number two, three, four, five. This just tells the scanner where to focus. All right, now this says to isolate number two from scanning. We're just going to leave it in there like it is because we've got the three off mode. Just hit continue. The reason why I do that is because this articulation here will tend to move when you try to pull it out. That's why I got it set up the way it's set up. When we, when we scan the pre-op model, this pre-op scan, um, that'll do the same thing. Okay, isolate three through five. We're just going to hit continue. We're not going to isolate. Here we're just looking at <coughs> we're just looking at the height of what we want to what we want to keep with the scan. See if we're gonna add more or less, which that was a pretty good height that we were looking at right there. That's good. Click continue. We're just cutting off any waste. We don't want all we don't need all that scan. Alright, the sit to scan is going to be um your uh, your tooth prep. So, and if you'll notice how this is, this plate's like this, this prep is like this. I'm gonna put this in a similar position to this. So I'm gonna put it right about there. Take this off here. Put it in here. I probably need to build that up a little bit for this system. scan is the same thing as the pre-op. When we put it under job definition, we click on pre-op model. That's the same thing as this situ scan right here.
just in case. I don't know what he's doing or not, but I will just show them how to scan and show them how to design until later after they scan everything. Then you show them how to design and that way you got a feel that they can design at the same time right after that. But scanning first, how are you gonna do it? I was gonna um, scan and design all in one shot, do one case and let them have them record it and then watch them scan. I could do it the way you're talking about. They're recording it. They're recording it. They're recording, they're recording right they don't need you after that, then that's fine. But if they need you after that, then it's a one-time shot of you showing them all everything. Well, uh, I figured I, I would show them, and then because I got one case here that I'm hey, doing for a sample, and then and then two for them, one a piece, and I would watch them do it. If they had any questions, kind of help them. Okay. Okay. Right now here, it's. Uh, oh here is uh, it's very important at this point for you to cut away all of this excess right here because when you want to when you want to merge this file with your original scan with your upper arch scan you don't want all this excess in here it'll give you problems so we're going to go here we're going to cut all this away you want to make sure you get all this debris and crap over here I call it space debris you want to make sure you get all that as well. I should have hit cut inward, excuse me, sorry about that guys. Click cut outward. So you just pretty much want to get the prep and the margins. Alright, that's good right there. We want to keep that. So we want to hit continue. Now that's for the lower jaw. so that it, it doesn't, the bite stays in place. It doesn't open when it's in. matching and close software. Okay, so we finalized the, the ceremonial mat portion, which is the scanning. So if you want to stop this now, you can and start a new video with, with designing. Um, we're going to designing, which is ceremonial mine. Asking 
for you to make this like parallel, like you're looking straight down on the, uh, straight down on okay, it next. will work with just one click. Like this a little point right there. We're gonna click right there. Right there. Common area. Let it do its thing. If it doesn't do well you can hit two or three by hitting control after you hit the first point and then click another one that'll give you a second and then click again and give you a third. This looks good. We're gonna continue. Same thing, this is the same thing with the uh with the lower bottle. So we're just gonna find a common point. This one and that one. Well, there's a spot right there. Good. select match type and we're going to go to the add stump scan click ok Ron. 
Yes. She's getting ready to go to the Angle Channel. Excuse me? I'm getting ready to go to Hammond and Baton Rouge. Okay. All right. step here somewhere guys and stuff like that. So I, I showed it that I had stump scan and hit load. That's what I missed there. So now we're gonna go to the upper jaw sit to. And you always hit no here because they're not relative to each other. Okay. Stump registration. It's been a while since I've known this file. Okay, so we go to stump registration. <clears throat> just click a common point. I should just want to kind of line up where it looks the same way. Like, like right there. Right there. Now this merge those two together. Okay. Where's that? So now you hit OK. Now you can get rid of this right there, that's not that important. Okay. All right, so now we can get, whoops, excuse me. Now we can get, you get out of the wizard clothes expert mode. Now we've done everything we need here, just hit next. Now we're gonna do the margin detection. Now this has both of those files merged together, so. Right, I'm gonna get 
That's right. Good margin detection. I usually get a correct and draw that way. I can zoom in and check the margins and stretch them out if I need to in certain areas. The computer's usually pretty close. You're already familiar with the margin detection stuff, I'm sure. And we'll go with that hit next. <clears throat> now let's just go on with the pattern insertion. That looks good to me. I'll see a bunch of red there. selecting a tooth we're not mirroring anything or nothing so it's just going to put us a, a stock tooth in there but anyway so now once you get here you just kind of position your tooth the way that you want it positioned see on your tooth where it's hitting the opposing tooth you can take this and move it in whatever position that you like you can move it closer to this tooth you can move it any way you want you just want a general position here it does not have to be exact I kind of line it up with the other teeth That looks like a pretty good position to me. I mean, the occlusal looks pretty good. Now it's gonna delete a lot of this right here. Now if you wanna, if you wanna make this tooth a little bigger, just all the way around in size, you can hit shift, hit the tooth, hit the left mouse, and then push it forwards and backwards. That will determine the size of the tooth. It, it typically gives you a pretty good general size to start with, but sometimes you have to increase the size of the tooth. And what I usually do is once you get this position where you want it, you just make sure that it, it goes, you know, right around to the margins. All right, so we're just gonna click next for this. This is just a general position. All right, now the computer's gonna do its thing and shrink this up to the way it thinks it should look. Now we've got all this red, yellow, green, blue, all this, all this will be reduced. I'm gonna take this eyeball a little bit more. Okay, now, I don't like the shape of this tooth, so we can go with cuffs, tooth parts, the ridges, entire tooth. I'm gonna go with two parts Click here, I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit. I didn't like it getting cut off so much right there. Grab it right here, pretty much where we, where we push it. That's where it's gonna pull it out. This looks a little tight right there, but now you can go in here and look and see for your contacts. 
See, that's how hard it's hitting that contact right there, so you can kind of move it wherever you want to have as heavy or as light a contact as you want. I'm going to pull this out just a hair right here. Still hitting a little hard there. I'm going to tuck this in just a hair right here. Get things line up just a little bit better. Not like so. Okay. Now, <clears throat> once I, I get a, a general idea here of the position and the shape of it that I want. Now I can focus on smoothing it out, finalizing the tooth, and getting um, the interproximals and the occlusal surface, reducing that. Now I can go here to, first I hit adapt. I want to go to a, a proximals. That's going to be right here for your contact. Now watch what happens when I hit next. Uh, excuse me, when I hit cut intersections. It's going to reduce that to where it's not as heavy. Now I'm going to hit occlusion and I'm going to hit cut intersections. Did you see how I took all that blue away? Now I've got my occlusion and my contact good. I'm going to get rid of the antagonist. Now I'm going to go to free, which is free for me. You can add and remove. Like if I hit right here, this you got your strength here and the size of your brush. You see the green there? That's the size of it. If I want to add, I can add a bunch right here, right? I'm going to hit undo and undo that. And if you want to add more, you hit the strength up. If you want a smaller brush, hit it down. Uh, right here, what I really want to do is I want to smooth or flatten. So I want to smooth this tooth out. While I'm smoothing this tooth out, I'm going to get rid of the jaw scans and just have the tooth itself. So you see how this is real lumpy right through here? I'm going to take my brush size, make it a little smaller, and my strength a little smaller to start with. We're going to zoom in just a hair, make the brush just a little bigger, and we're going to smooth this all out. Just smooth everything. We're going to undo that right there. Now, since I smoothed that and it went to the orange, I know that it's a little thin right here, so I'm gonna add a little bit first, right? Then I'm gonna hit smooth and smooth it out after I add it so it doesn't get too thin and get into the minimal thickness. Now, this contact here looks pretty, pretty rough, so we're gonna smooth this out again. All right, just going around the tooth, smoothing everything out. Now, Part looks pretty good. There's not going to be able to be much anatomy here, but if you wanted to, you could click on add and remove. And if you make your brush size smaller, you can, this is a, this is on the big brush now. You can hit the smaller brush here. And you see how it's just like a little point. 
Now we can hit add and remove and the green will add, right? So we don't, I'm gonna undo that. And then if you hit shift, that'll turn it red, that'll remove it. So you can kind of cut some lines in there for some anatomy if you like. I'm gonna go back to smooth, hit this big brush. There's just not gonna be much in the way of anatomy here. This is a real tight tight. I had to reduce this too. So now we're gonna go back at the jaw scan. I want to check my top contacts again. I want to go to that because I smoothed that out through there. I want to go to a proximal cut intersection. Get rid of that again. Make sure it's not real lumpy. Okay. Get free. We're going to smooth it just a hair. Okay. Now, at this point, I'll just take one last look at everything. I'm fine with this too. So now I'm going to get next. And I'm just going to ignore this right here, hit next. And then you can hit, I'm done. There we go. Save anyway. So now, after you do this, we have to save to the flash drive. So I'm going to go down here and click open in a floor. I'm going to take this out, it's not working anyway. So we're going, to, we're going to look for the, S, the STL file. This is that crown number right here. So we're going to, this is crown CAD STL. That's what we want to move into. So we want to hit copy. Then we want to go down to here. And we're going to hit paste. So there's that file right there. And we want to rename this. Whatever this patient's name is here. And that's going to be Lisa Green. And we're going to have a dash. We're going to hit C2. Dash. And that's just tube number two. Saving in large icons, I usually have them listed on the small, small icons. But anyway, so now that's on our flash drive. So that's how you scan and design one. Sorry about going back and forth with that, uh, that pre-op there, but I'll be here to answer any questions. So now we'll click new. And uh, you guys can start on one of these, whoever wants to go first.